my name is Ms. Roshinka, and I'm a teacher at Hungry Creek. This is my sixth grade advanced life science class, and today we're going to be doing a lesson where we are peer editing a letter that is going to be fundraising money for cancer research at the Massey Cancer Center. So um, just to start out, you guys, we're going to go ahead and do a quick review um, with Piglet. Um, first question, why do cells divide? Can somebody tell me maybe their explanation that they included in their letter? Um, Carol, go for it. Okay. I wrote, cells divide because they have to grow or heal. Yep, cells divide because in order for us to grow or heal, we have to divide ourselves, right? All right, what stages do they go through? Actually, before we even answer that question, what's the phrase to remember? Um, go ahead, Carol, throw it to somebody else. Nice. Parker. Um, I, play music at the club. I play music at the club. All right. So what's the first phase? How about you guys just say it out loud? Interphase. Anaphase, telophase, and cytokinesis. All right. Very nice. Do you guys remember the song? Yeah. All right, ready? Okay, do you want to do one repeating after me? Yes. Okay, ready? Interphase normal. Interphase normal. Prophase pack. Prophase pack. Metaphase middle. Metaphase middle. Anaphase apart. Anaphase apart. Telophase two. Telophase two. Cytokinesis split. Cytokinesis split. Very nice. Okay, how does that relate to cancer? So Parker, you can throw it to somebody else who has their hand raised. Why does cell division relate to cancer? Because, the, because when they get to cells, they divide without stopping. Okay, because cancer cells divide without stopping. Very nice. Did you guys include that in your letter at some point? Yeah. Something like it? Okay, good. So it's either that they divide uncontrollably or they divide without stopping. I know um, Parker wrote that they are almost always in mitosis. That's how he decided to word it. That's great. OK, why are we writing this letter to our friends and family? There are two reasons. Why are we writing this letter? Samantha, you can throw it to somebody else who has not spoken yet. Go for it, Leo. Oh, <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> Leo, what's one reason we're writing our letter? Um, so we can Yep, inform, so that's the first one, about cancer, and not just cancer, also about the cell cycle, right? Yes. All right, and, and then what's the other reason? And persuade them. And persuade them to do what? To, to donate to? To VCU. Yep, to VCU. Persuade. Do they want to donate to our fundraiser? Okay. What, um, so before you guys, I'm going to have you guys actually read each other's letters. So you guys are going to be peer editing using this checklist. What are some things that, like, I mean, obviously you have a checklist that gives you the specifics. But what do you think is going to make a very good letter? What will make a good letter if somebody did a good job with it? What do you think, Samantha? Well, I know make it look better. What do you think? Well, good grammar. That's a big one, right? I think that's even worth 10 points, right? So make sure that you are checking their grammar. And guys, I'm OK if um, Reese and Nick end up trading each other's letters. If Nick has a grammar mistake, Reese doesn't have to tell him. She can just fix it for him if it's just some like little mistake, OK? So you guys can actually help each other edit. That's a really good skill to do anyway, OK? Good grammar. What's another thing that we can look for in a good letter? Zola, what do you think? Um, describe cancer. Yes, describe it in detail. Use details. All right, what else? What do you think, Emery? Make sure they describe mitosis correctly. Yeah, mitosis is the big thing, right? Use details with cancer and mitosis. All right? Oh, I have one. Who's our audience? Uh, friends and family. Our friends and family. Do you think that some of your friends and family are going to remember what chromosomes are or chromatin? So you probably need to explain some of the key vocabulary. 
if I were to, if Miss Horashenka reads it, I'm going to understand everything. But if your sister reads it and she's in the fourth grade, she's probably not going to understand what, what in the world you're talking about. So it needs to be understandable, okay? So explain the key, vo the key vocabulary. All right, what else? Did we miss anything or did we, did we hit the big things? Okay, make sure it's professional as well. That kind of goes with the good grammar. Yes, any? Yes, that's part of good grammar. Yes, Angie. Um, talk about your action project. Oh yeah, that'd be great. If you can describe your action project at some point in your letter, it can be at the beginning, it can be at the end, that would be great. Remember, you wanna, you wanna describe what are you doing to take action against cancer. If you're participating in the fundraiser next week in the morning, or you're doing extra research or whatever it is that you wanted to do, make sure that you um, include that in your letter at some point. Yes, Chelsea? Um, for the person that you're talking about in your letter, like talk about how, mm. like with the family, with the, how the family reacted and things like that and how they felt when they found out the person actually. Yes, yeah, so, okay, for the, I'm glad that you brought that up, Chelsea. Did um, all of you guys include a personal story, whether it was Officer Barton's or somebody in your family? Okay. If you include that, I just want you to keep in mind that just because you did the interview doesn't mean that you have to include every single detail. Remember, you are just, if I were to be talking about Officer Barton in my letter, I would want to be talking about it to help them see, wow, cancer really affects people's lives, right? That's why it's really important that we help raise money for cancer research. So you don't have to tell me a huge story. It's not an essay about that one person. Just give me the most important information and explain to your reader why you're telling them that. Because you want them to see, man, if we raise money for cancer, then we are going to be able to um, positively affect people's lives, right? Okay. So make sure that you kind of explain that in your letter, too. Did you guys all do that? Perfect. Okay. You are allowed to pick one partner that you um, are going to trade computers with. Bring this with you, okay? And you're gonna, um, so if this is Samantha's paper, she's gonna give her paper to Yelena, so then, um, and she's gonna write, it, even though Yelena is doing the editing, Samantha is gonna write her name at the top. Does that make sense? If you wanna put edited by your name at the top, that's fine with me, okay? <coughs> make sure you go through. And at the bottom, you guys, do you see the rubric? Yeah. Okay, you are gonna go through section category by category and you are actually going to circle the one that you think fits the best. Does that make sense? So if you feel like their knowledge about cell, cell, cell division and the cell cycle is only meeting the expectations, it's not exceeding the expectations, then circle that box. Does that make sense? Okay, so you're doing the checklist and the rubric. Do we understand? Okay, find a partner. Take your list with you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Cancer is caused by cells to divide. Cells have to divide to grow again. This happens during phases. The first phase is interphase, where it's just no where it's just a normal cell, and cancer rarely happens. In the boxes. The rubric. at our school fundraiser. Okay, so you want me to delete like the part where it says um, No, like that whole sentence. <laughs> because that doesn't go with the Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
in cell mitosis, the first stage is called interphase, where the cell is in a state. In, yeah. Where the cell is in this stage, most of the kids slide. The next stage is called prophase. Hello, my name is Rowan Lastalada, and I'm talking to you to raise knowledge about cancer. My school is expanding others' knowledge of by having a fundraiser in our gym, I will be taking action by making a poster explaining cancer with you. You can read this letter and go to this website, theteammassey.org, for more information. Listening for you guys after you read it to say, you did a good job with this. Here's a place where maybe you can improve. Maybe point out different parts of their letter where you say, uh, you need a little more detail here, or this, is, um, this needs some maybe vocabulary terms explained. So show that to them so that they can edit those things, please. One person who was affected by, my, by cancer was my second cousin, what was that say? Okay, we'll share. Who got lymphoma at age 18. He was rushed to the hospital, and for two years they tried everything on him. Eventually the tumor just spread, and he passed away at the age of 20. He was only 20 years old? Yeah. No, no, like a, like a letter for Okay, so are you girls doing one at a time? Yeah. I like that. That's a good idea. Yeah. 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 I like that. Good, good recommendation. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and do that now? Make Did he actually explain cell division in his letter? Do you see a, um, any sentences? Okay, so if he did and you feel like it's correct, go ahead and write five points right here so then he, you can tell him how many points he earned for that. And go ahead and delete this big space because in a friendly letter you really don't need all of those spaces because you are differentiating them with the, with the Should I give indent. Her the points? No, I mean, she's making the changes now, right? Uh, so I should give her off five then? That or if you want to take off one point for doing that, you can take off one point. Yeah, I'm going to give her But she's fixing it, so hopefully it'll be... There you go. I like that. Yeah, that... Do you see how that looks more like a letter, Chelsea, now? And not like a... Perfect. It looks like you have two indents right there, so make sure you delete that. There you go. That's perfect. You're making some comments. Good. Fundraising website. I'm going to go ahead and write it up here on the board. Make sure that you add it in somewhere. TeamMassey.org slash HCMS fight against cancer. Okay? Include it in your letter because when you give it to your friends and family, they're going to just be reading about mitosis, but you want them to go here to actually donate, okay? It probably would be kind of cool if maybe we just volunteer to read maybe parts of our letter. Is there anybody who feels like maybe they, they have a good intro or their partner has a good intro that they'd be willing to read nice and loud for the, for the class? Amaya, nice and loud. Go ahead and read your introduction, your um, first paragraph. Dear friends and family, Hello, I'm Amaya, and I'm writing this to you to explain and give you info about cancer. I'm also hoping you will understand how important finding a working door for cancer is. I hope you will donate to our fundraiser to help create awareness of cancer. Before I explain to you about cancer, I'm going to tell you the basics of cells. Ooh, I like that. She actually said in the first paragraph exactly why she's writing. Short and sweet. Very nice. Um, and she even said, she said, do I have to put the link in the first paragraph or can I put it in the last paragraph? I said, you can put it in both, in the last one, the first one, wherever you think it makes sense, okay? Would anybody like to read their second paragraph? I know it's a long one, but it tells, um, it will tell the audience about cell division. Samantha, nice and loud for the camera. In the normal cell cycle, cells spend 90% of their time in interface. In interface, cells are growing and doing normal cell things, like duplicating DNA. Cells divide when other cells need to be replaced. When that happens, cells enter mitosis, a cell splitting stage with four phases. The first is prophase. Chromosomes, little packets of DNA, are condensing, becoming visible. Next is metaphase, where the nucleus, the brain of the cell, deconstructs and the chromosomes line up down the center of the cell. After that is anaphase. The chromatids, half of a chromosome, are pulled away from each other and towards the poles of the cells. Next in mitosis is telophase. 
the cell starts to split and the new nuclei form and soon to be two cells. That's the end of mitosis, but there's one more stage that cell has to go through before it becomes two. Cytokinesis is the final stage of the cell splitting. The cell has been completely divided in two. Yeah. Did you guys hear that she explained, like in very easy terms, some of the vocabulary? She talked about the nucleus. She talked about how a chromosome is a, like a packet almost of DNA or um, a structure of DNA. Did you guys, um, did your partner look over that and make sure that you actually explained some of the key vocabulary? Zola and Carol are saying yes. Did you guys check over your partners? Perfect, okay. Can anybody read, anybody willing to read about cancer? What makes cancer cells cancer cells? I said you needed to have a minimum of two reasons. Alex, you want to read yours? This is the paragraph for me about cancer. When cancer cells can't, cancer is when cells cannot stop duplicating. Oh, wait, I forgot to add my own um, two reasons. Two reasons? Can somebody give me one reason why cancer cells are different than normal cells? Oh, you have yours? Yeah. Okay. I just Cancer cells cannot stop doing the cell cycle, which Sam, Samantha just explained. Mm -hmm. um, my reasons are they, when they reach their boundary and there's enough cells, they don't stop and they keep on duplicating. And they, the reason they spread is because they don't have the sticky substance that other cells have and they stay together in one spot and cancer cells move around. Yep, so that a lot of the time they'll float away, right? I remember that from the article. All right, does somebody want to um, read about the story of somebody who um, maybe just nice and, nice and quick? Jack, you want to go ahead and read yours? My grandpa was diagnosed with prostate cancer and had stage four cancer when he was 55 years old. And then he died four years later in 1998. I never got to meet him or see him. He was really determined to take on cancer and did some experimental treatments to help other people with cancer. My parents got married when he had cancer, so he got to see his daughter get married. So I think it would, that would be, that's a beautiful explanation and summary of your grandfather. Maybe you can say, maybe this is why it's important to you, right? Because this actually affected your family. It's important that we actually donate to cancer research. So then maybe people in the future will not have to go through that, right? So I think that would be a good thing to add into your paragraph. If you wrote a story and you didn't explain why that's important or relevant for your reader, you need to probably add that in. Does that make sense, Jack? Yes. Okay. All right. Anybody want to give us a concluding paragraph? What did you write? Chelsea, go for it. I said, my partner and I will be making scrunchies and necklaces for an event that will that will be raising money for the Massey, for the VCU Massey Cancer Center. You can donate online. To donate, just click this link. We hope that you can support us. Sincerely, Chelsea. That is beautiful. Wow. Okay, so based on what you guys read out loud, I feel like these letters are in really good shape. I feel really good about it. You should feel pretty good, too, because... I mean, this is due next week and you guys got the big chunk of it done, right? Nice job, guys. Thank you for joining our class today. Please consider donating to teammassey.org slash ATMS fight against cancer. Thank, Thank you. you. Go Cougars! Go Cougars!